<coughs> hey guys welcome back so our today topic of discussion is hormonal regulation of tubular reabsorption and tubular secretion so in this video we are, we are going to discuss about how hormone regulate the reabsorption and uh, secretion of uh, various electrolytes in the renal tubule right so first hormone as first hormone is aldosterone so aldosterone first of all is a steroid hormone which is produced by zona glomerulosa right zona glomerulosa of adrenal cortex in the adrenal gland right so what it means is this hormone is stimulated by this adrenal gland uh, produced by this adrenal gland right so uh, first of all uh, uh, this adrenal uh, gland is stimulated by angiotensin 2 which we we will discuss in angiotensin renin angiotensin aldosterone system right so what are the regulators of these enzyme uh, this hormone what are the sorry what are the regulator of this hormone so first is angiotensin 2 and hyperkalemia so as angiotensin 2 uh, stimulate the adrenal gland to produce this hormone right so to produce this aldosterone hormone as hyperkalemia is the condition when a body has excessive amount of potassium right so this condition this excessive amount of potassium whenever present in the body this uh, this uh, th that term is known as hyperkalemia right so it regulate the production of this hormone why this hormone is needed because of them uh, it regulate this hormone to produce right so what what the aldosterone main function is it is essential for the reabsorption of sodium and excretion of potassium so sodium is reabsorbed along with water right sodium is not reabsorbed alone it it always reabsorbed with water right so as aldosterone uh, so aldosterone as present in the excessive amount high concentration of high concentration of aldosterone leads to reabsorption of sodium and low level of aldosterone leads to the loss of sodium from the kidney so this uh, this whole process this uh, absorption reabsorption and excretion occur in the digital distal convoluted tubule of kidney right so as there is a uh, excessive amount as as excessive or um, very less amount of uh, any electrolyte is in body is harmful so excessive amount of aldosterone cause Korn syndrome right or it is also known as primary hyper aldosteronium right so this is the excessive amount condition excessive amount whenever there is excessive amount of aldosterone present it causes Korn's uh, syndrome right so in this uh, in this there is high blood pressure and low low level of potassium in the blood right so whenever there is a little whenever there is a little aldosterone present in the body it causes addison disease 
medicines disease right so it uh, it also result in low blood pressure and increase level of potassium in the blood right so uh, how this uh, aldosterone comes from the, uh, the system uh, there is a system right renin angiotensin system angiotensin aldosterone system which is also known as renin angiotensin system right uh, so how this uh, stimulate how the this angiotensin stimulate the adrenal gland to produce aldosterone we'll discuss in this system so here is the renin angiotensin system right renin is the enzyme which is uh, released from the kidney right secreted from the kidney in response to low blood pressure right it is uh, secreted from the juxta glomerular uh, cells of the kidney right and there here is the angiotensin which is responsible for the uh, narrowing for a uh, narrowing of uh, blood vessels right which uh, leads to increase in uh, blood pressure right so let's begin so first of all this is liver as liver secrete the protein this angiotensinogen right so angiotensinogen needs to be broken right so as uh, i already told you renin uh, renin uh, always act whenever there is low blood pressure inside the vessels or uh, there is a uh, low uh, low uh, body fluid right so here is the kidney kidney as kidney secrete this renin this renin enzyme which act upon the angiotensinogen right and it break down this angiotensinogen and get converted into angiotensin right so this angiotensin uh, further get a uh, break into angiotensin 2 and in now in between uh, enzyme act upon it is ace which is angiotensin converting enzyme and this enzyme is secreted by lungs right and this is secreted by lungs and act upon the angiotensin angiotensin 1 and converted into angiotensin 2 right later on this angiotensin 2 act upon the adrenal gland and uh, release the hormone or uh, stimulate the uh, release of the hormone uh, aldosterone right this aldosterone act upon the now this aldosterone act on the kidney which release NaCl and water right so as angiotensin is the active form it is the only active form in the whole system right and this act on the uh, blood vessel which leads to the vasoconstriction and vasoconstriction uh, leads to it will regulate blood pressure means blood pressure get high right so this is the whole uh, system how the this angiotensin get break down into angiotensin and maintain the pressure inside the vessel so in this whole process what we uh, what we discuss about is the it enhances the reabsorption of sodium potassium uh, sorry sodium chloride and uh, water right in the proximal convoluted tubule of kidney right so as a uh, as one whenever there is increase in angiotensin so what happen if uh, our body has a uh, high angiotensins uh, so uh, high angiotensins leads to uh, excessive retention of excessive retention of potassium and the low angiotensins leads to retention of potassium right so whenever there is high high or a uh, very low concentration of any substance inside the body it leads to various diseases inside the body right 
so excessive or very low amount of things or uh, these electrolytes or pre uh, whenever present inside the body cause uh, something uh, like diseases cause diseases right so whenever there is uh, excessive retention of potassium occur a uh, diseases uh, occur uh, excessive retention of potassium is known as right hyperkalemia right hyperkalemia with and the last one is antidiuretic hormone right so it is released from the posterior lobe lobe pituitary which play a role in water reabsorption in collecting duct of kidney right so this hormone is uh, usually released from the posterior lobe of pituitary gland and it reabsorb water in the collecting duct of kidney right so when this uh, antidiuretic hormone is released it is released only when when uh, we don't have sufficient water uh, we are perspired much right when uh, we don't drink water right so antidiuretic hormone release when we perspire much right so if uh, if, if uh, we drink lot of water we don't need this antidiuretic hormone right so uh, this antidiuretic hormone reabsorb the water right and uh, when this antidiuretic hormone is present it result in a decrease amount of urine right if if uh, somebody drink a lot water and uh, they don't need water for their body so at that time no uh, antidiuretic hormone form and uh, the uh, there are a uh, lot of uh, urine uh, right a uh, lot of urine um, result uh, from the body right so whenever uh, there are two terms right diuresis and antidiuresis So diuresis is used for the uh, uh, term. Uh, diuresis is the term which is used when uh, there is a uh, increased amount of urine, right? Increased amount of urine, and when there is a less amount of urine, the term known as antidiuretic. Though, so the ADH work in antidiuretic condition, right? so it does not work in diuresis condition so in the collecting duct there uh, in the membrane of collecting duct right here is the connecting duct in the membrane of uh, receptor receive this antidiuretic hormone right so it reabsorb water right reabsorb water much water and release the less urine outside the uh, urethra right so uh, so uh, in the collecting duct uh, there is a uh, channel water channel which is known as aquaporin right so aquaporin is a water channel into the luminal uh, membrane right there were it allow the transcellular water reabsorption right uh, which occur down uh, the osmotic gradient right so uh what this whole uh, hormone uh, function in the in the kidney is it it works when uh, the person is a uh, person has less amount of water right and uh, it re it reabsorb water in the collecting duct right and uh, release less amount of urine outside the body right so this is all about the hormonal regulation and tubular um, of tubular secretion and reabsorption right so thank you